Hey, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what's in store for your November money and career life? We're going to talk a little astrology, dive in with the tarot, and find out. So keep watching. So Scorpio, happy birthday season. I hope you're all doing really well out there and thank you for being here on the channel. Welcome or welcome back. So let's first talk about your money life in the month of November. So Venus, the planet that rules the moolahs, is in your second house of money until November 11th. And Mercury on November 2nd will also go into your money house of Sagittarius and will be in there all month until he goes retrograde on the 26th of November. So the first couple of weeks of November, there could be a lot of messages, news, opportunities, contracts, all sorts of things concerning money, managing your money, paperwork, as I said, contracts, sales, negotiations, all of those types of money scenarios going on in your life. Venus will go into Capricorn, your third house of contracts and communications on November 11th. So I think this whole month for you is going to be ripe with opportunity to negotiate favorable money deals for yourself. And Remember, apply the energies to your life. This could be something as simple as renegotiating your lease agreement for your apartment and getting a better rate or a better deal somehow, all the way to negotiating a car loan, to negotiating a raise. I mean, whatever you have going on, you have very strong astrological energies to negotiate and make good money deals for yourself in the month of November. So let's pull some tarot cards, Scorpio, and see what you need to know about your money life. This is just your money. We'll do your career in a few moments. This is your money life for November. Let us see, Scorpios. No reversals. Let's see what we have. All right, what do we have here? We have the judgment. Oops. <laughs> and the Knight of Cups. In your heart is the Ten of Coins. There's that Capricorn energy. Eight of Cups. And the Five of Coins. Now, I'm just going to read this holistically, but I feel like what's going on here is that you are waving goodbye to less than scenarios. You would not have the Ten of Coins in your heart unless there was probably also a ton of coins in your hand or in your future. Okay, so this looks looks very, very favorable. Um, judgment card is also excellent. This could be some, again, important announcement, a deal being made. Knight of Cups is very favorable here also because it is your cupsy energy, your emotional energy. Um, I think there's going to be an emotional change uh, of a raising of the vibration, so to speak, calling in more prosperity for yourself with this 10 of coins, that that's going to bring a fresh emotional change in your life by manifesting more money, by making some decisions, making some plans, as I said, negotiating before, uh, with something that's very favorable for your energy, the Knight of Cups. And interesting, we have the Eight of Cups here with the Pisces energy and this Five of Coins. But this is the waving goodbye card, as I like to call it. Saturn goes direct. Good old Saturn is in Pisces. He goes direct November 15th. So that could be a significant time marker for you. And again, that's the, the few days after Venus goes into Capricorn over here. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Pisces is your fifth house of lucky breaks, uh, taking a risk, the house of the entrepreneur, uh, pleasure, et cetera, creativity. So there could be some sort of creative financial negotiation, financial plan, earning money from your creativity. That's also possible here. Negotiating a deal for your creative energies, your creative projects, and making money from them. It doesn't have to be just that, though. 
But Saturn is about contracts and commitments as well. It is about those things that endure over time. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think this is a very favorable change out of, and notice the number five here, we're talking about the Pisces fifth house for you, of finally freeing up your life force energy and reaping what you have sown. If you have been putting out good energy, good vibes, as I'm sure you have been, um, and, you know, staying steadfast to good goals for yourself and changing your life in positive ways with the judgment card here, I think you're going to have a nice harvest. There is the potential to have a really good harvest this month financially and wave goodbye to this. But Saturn, I think, is involved for you. Okay, so Saturn is about, yes, rolling up your shirt sleeves, doing the hard work um, and being real being real. If you have been buckling down and doing what you need to do, as I said, to make an improvement in your finances, I think you will see progress this month. It's very possible where you're waving goodbye to less than circumstances. Okay. You're waving goodbye to that because you realize that if you do want your situation to change, especially over, I feel like the last five months, you have maybe put in a little extra work, a little extra, you know, dose of reality, in order to improve your situation. And I think, again, the harvest is here for you. Um, and it could be even the last five years, it's possible also, although Saturn has not been in Pisces for the last five years. Um, so I think there can be significant, long lasting progress in the right direction for you. This is also long term growth. This is also Capricorn. This is Saturn energy. So I feel like the tide is turning this month for you to make some strong negotiations, to have a new uh, turn of events where you get your longer term financial stability under control and you have fabulous transits and aspects to do that, which is why we have here this waving goodbye of the less than scenarios. So and, and some of you may be benefit, benefiting, especially the second half of November, through some sort of lucrative marketing deals. Again, writing, speaking, teaching, networking, sales when Venus is in Capricorn. And these could also, these deals in those areas in particular, could absolutely affect your long-term financial stability in very favorable ways. So I think this is excellent. The judgment card is here. It's, it is about discernment. It is about using your own best good judgment here and what emotionally you need from your financial life to feel secure over the longer term. Again, this is not just tomorrow, but, you know, going forward, you know, the next 10 years, even maybe the next year to 10 years with, with the 10 that's showing up here. So I think this is very, very favorable. There could be some very important announcement also. Uh, it may be something you just share with friends and family, but it could be also on a larger stage, so to speak, or with a larger group of people and an important announcement that you're making, some publicity or something like that that you're sharing with other people, especially about some sort of creative situation, perhaps, if you have that going on in your life, um, that, again, can, inf can affect your long-term financial stability. Example, if you have your own business, and you decide that you're finally, you know, going to be releasing something after November 11th, I think when Venus is in that third house for you of the marketing, um, you know, that could be the announcement. Here's my new thing that I'm presenting, that I'm selling. Here you go. And you could get some very favorable feedback on that and also sales with this 10 of coins here. Those of you who are in sales could have a good month, could have a very good month. It's very, very possible here. But you may need to make some sort of change or decision here that will put you in the position to do that if you haven't already. Because again, there's a waving goodbye scenario here. So some of you may be making the decision to change jobs this month that will put you in a position for greater long-term financial stability. That is another possibility here. So whichever way we look at this, what I am heartened to see is this. Because you know, again, I said I'm looking at this all holistically. Okay, mean, meaning that we're not going in a straight line of, you know, this happens, then this happens, then this happens. We're looking at all the energies together. And this is saying I'm leaving behind having my hand out and not knowing where my next dime is coming from. I know where my next dime is coming from. Not just a dime, but many dimes, many quarters, <laughs> many 
hundos. All right, let's see what else we need to know for you. I mean, this this next deck sometimes brings up money things, sometimes brings up career things. Everything's a metaphor, but we'll check in with this deck and see what you need to know also. And then we're going to discuss your career life and what may be going on for you. Scorpios. All right, let's see. What do the Scorpios need to know? Here we go. We have comfort. We got a bear. Okay, comfort. Take refuge and strength. Living well, easy transition, protected, fearless, and stability. Yes. So finding that financial comfort, that's a lot of this too. I mean, you're when you are in a ten of coins scenario, you're sitting pretty. You're not worried about your money. You got everything you need. Your treasure chest is overflowing. So Living well, that's what you're working toward. Living well is with the, um, you know, the foundational security of your finances. Easy transition. As I said, some of you may be making a transition in terms of your job because you're wanting to get that greater financial stability um, and being protected in what you are doing. And the bear, bear is very, it's interesting. Bear medicine is the strong, silent, but very intuitive. And also because bears are associated with sleep and hibernation, getting a lot of messages through your dreams also about the next right step for you with your finances and your career. Um, so very, very interesting. But making with the other little buzz I'm getting here is making decisions from a place of strength, not because you're in a panic about something and also being very aware of your own strengths and capitalizing on them and not selling yourself short and getting your just rewards and your appropriate pay amount, etc. Not selling yourself short. I think that is very key here with this. So very interesting, interesting energies. Now on November 4th, Mars will move into your 10th house of career Scorpio, which is Leo energizing your public persona, how other people see you, really giving you a lot of momentum to make forward progress with your career. Now, here's the thing. Mars will also go retrograde in Leo the beginning of December. I think it's December 6th. He will backtrack again into Cancer and then he'll go forward again in 2025 and eventually reach Leo once again. So we will look at what this might mean for your month of November with Mars in Leo, but know that situations may change a little bit, or there could be a lot of forward progress now this month with your career. And then there could be a little lull in the action, so to speak, during December and January and February, okay, during the retrograde and during the holiday and post-holiday period. There just could be a just a slowdown in the action. So especially if you are in sales as a career, this is your month, especially with your Venus energies as well, to hit it hard, to hit the ground running, because things could possibly, it's not a guarantee, this is a general reading, but they could just slow down a little bit. And that's, that's kind of normal anyway at the holiday time uh, for most, most industries and sales and things like that. Um, so there could be situations also where you can make a lot of progress this month in your career and then things may need to be gone over again in December, January, February. So as an example, you could at your job, maybe you get tapped to be present a proposal or headline this new project or whatever. And you can make great progress with it. Everybody loves what you're doing. And then the, the project goes to the higher up people in December and either they're on vacation or they're like, we'll figure it out in January. So it gets put on the back burner till January. And then in January, they're like, okay, well, we got to wait for everybody to come back from vacation. January 15th, maybe we'll look at everything. And by the time they have 50 bazillion meetings and discussions, we're in February, March. And then progress will move forward again on a project. That's like the time, kind of specific example I like to give people. So again, there's nothing bad about this energy of the Mars retrograde. Uh, it can just be kind of going over old ground again to 
uh, re-energize something, rethink something, redo something. Um, it can also be internal energy, but for you, it is in your public house of career. You may be reconnecting with colleagues from your past, as an example, especially in December, January, February, March and April. You may be going back to um, conferences or workshops or things like that that you've done before and connected with people before. So, you know, we'll be discussing this energy in the coming months as well. But, uh, you know, it's nothing, nothing to worry about. But uh, this month, lots of forward movement and motivation in your career. All right, let's pull some tarot, no reversals, for your career energy this month. Scorpios, let us see what we need to know for you. All right, no reversals. Empress, beautiful. Four of wands, also very nice. Six of Cups in your heart, Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so in terms of your career, there is goodwill. Something is being gifted to you. There's a gift of an opportunity, I feel. And it could be at what you're currently doing. It could be a brand new opportunity. Uh, but in your heart is beautiful energy, the Six of Cups. And everything's a metaphor. This is a gifting energy. This can be somebody literally giving you a good reference, giving you the gift of a gift. I'm saying this again in quotes, the gift of an interview, a job, like giving you a lead on something that leads to a job or an opportunity of some kind. But there's an opportunity here. I mean, the Empress is showing up. Here's our Venus. And we have the Four of Wands, which for me is door opening energy. But the Empress can be things evolving over time, but it's a fantastic card. So you're just getting started with something this month that's really going to energize your finances in regards to your career and your public image. And it's going to open doors for you, which is why we have this Six of Cups that is showing up in your heart. Like you're feeling like, wow, like things are finally moving. They're moving forward. But the full progress probably, you know me, I'm very honest, probably won't be until the spring. Like the full, all the money's coming. That 10 of coins that was in your heart before. Doesn't mean you can't make money this month. Of course you can. But if you have a 10 of coins, longer term, big money goal, like let's say you, you're you wanting to manifest 100K or something, you know, um, that may be happening a lot over a longer period of time, but the ball you know, the ball gets rolling this month. There's more hard work ahead. We have double nine energy here. So we have the nine of wands. We have nine months with this. You know, this is really only five months away. The four of wands. It's not nine months away, but uh, five, six months, right? We got the six in your heart. And then we have this, which is in development also, the knight of pentacles. So you are very focused, very committed. You're going to be working hard this month to put those longer term career goals and financial goals into the frame and say yes to an opportunity. I think something new is coming for you. Now, this could be a new job. This could be something new at your job. Um, you know, taking on a manager role, taking on a, a different uh, responsibility for something different. Um, I think it's fantastic. This is a really, really positive energy here. But make no mistake, there is work involved. Nine of Wands. You're not afraid of hard work. Of course not. Um, but it's going to be worth it, I feel, with these two energies that are showing up here. And it's going to lead also to something else, this Four of Wands. Okay, And the Four of Wands, if we look at that as Aries energy, that is your sixth house of work. So absolutely, there can be some sort of new goals, new promise, new doors opening for you here that over time are going to lead to to your ton of coins that you're looking at over here. So I think this is this is very, very good for you. But, you know, Mars energizing that 10th house and again, going retrograde, which is what I was talking about before. Right. That's a little bit of this kind of slowdown, so to speak. I mean, it's moving, but it's not moving as fast probably as you would like. Um, from December, January, February. Okay, but as I said, 
you can really set the tone and set things moving in the right direction for yourself this month with your career. Mars in that 10th house of career, absolutely, like everybody wants your opinion, wants your expertise, is gonna be asking you to do a lot. Here's the nine of wands, the wands, the Mars in Leo type energy. And uh, you gotta pace yourself, that's the other thing because I think you're gonna be in high demand. There's going to be a lot going on. And uh, while you're grateful for that, the six of cups in your heart, don't forget to take care of yourself in all of this. So Scorpio, leave me a comment and let me know on how you plan to use these energies in the month of November. I would love to hear very dynamic month, lots of good aspects and energies for you to profit with and from. So I wish you all the best in doing that. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment. All that engagement really helps my channel with the YouTube algorithm and it will push the video out to more awesome Scorpios just like you. All right, Scorpio, I love you guys. Make sure you check out your new moon in Scorpio video, which I have already posted to the channel. Um, if you didn't know, my father did recently pass away in the last two weeks. I took a slight break. But I'm back again without, you know, full speed ahead with all our videos and all the things that we uh, enjoy doing here on the channel. There is a song that I wrote for you guys. I just have to put the video together for it. So also stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss your Scorpio, your Scorpio song. Okay, I have been doing experimenting with with uh, some AI software. I write all the lyrics myself, but I've been experimenting with the musical part. That part I can't do. Um, and it's been a nice creative outlet for me while I've been going through some, some stressful times with taking care of my dad. So anyway, onward, upward, happy birthday. Love you guys. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Wild signing out.